Hi, welcome to Designing with an Idiot. My name is Stephanie and this is my sister Jessica. And together with our, along with our mom, we own and operate Harmony Harvest Cut Flower Farm in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, where we grow specialty cut flowers and ship them nationwide to floral enthusiasts like yourself. So today, Jess, the professional designer, is going to show me, the idiot, how to make something beautiful with our pile of flowers we've got here. What That's do we have? right. Okay, so we run a flower farm and I am a trained floral designer. And while my sister helps, she sticks to the sales and marketing side. So she doesn't have any floral training experience. And we wanna use that to show you guys how everyone can live a better life through flowers. This in front of us is actually a full um, soft collection that you can find at hhfshop.com. It's 10, 10, or 10 bunches um, with a total of 100 plus stems of flowers. Wow. And this showcases actually what we would call a custom pull. So someone ordered a soft collection but left in the notes that they would like to have some brighter pops of purple and stronger pinks, which I know I have pushed down in here, um, included in their collection. So we pulled a standard soft and you can figure out which items we would categorize that way on our website further down in the descriptions where we talk about what is in the cooler each week and what we would classify each for our different collections. Soft, which are your pastel shades. Blanc, which are your whites and greens. Vibrant, which are all your bold and bright colors. And then essentials, all the weird textural ingredients. Um, this is an example of a 10 stem bunch that comes from Harmony Harvest. And this is some beautiful echinacea or otherwise known as cone flower. Uh, all of our flowers have already sat in water for 24 hours and are ready to design. If you are looking for design and processing tips, be sure to visit hhfshop.com forward slash care for a complete rundown. Right, Steph? Right. And I think it's important to note that if you're going to design flowers like we're going to today, get your box a day early so that they can sit in water for a full 24 hours in a cold room. It doesn't have to be a cooler, but a cold room uh, in lots and lots of water to rehydrate um, from their journey because, you know, we all go on vacation and it's so much fun and we Jet have a lag. great time, but we get a little lag when we get back. The travel is exhausting. The flowers feel the same way. And because they're divas, 24 hours in a box means that they might act like they're like thirsty, really sad. tired. They'll be fine. They so be sure that you uh, rehydrate them. Ooh, we even have dahlias. Look at that. I know. And yes, we do ship our ball variety dahlias mm -hmm. um, in our products that can be found at hhfshop.com. I am just unrubber banding the bottoms. Look at the scabious. Isn't that just gorgeous? And uh, we've already put water in our vases. Our vases are filled to about here. Um, we're not, you can fill them all the way up, but while we're designing, I, we like to have them a little, um, a little, these are all the things that I've learned throughout the previous designing with an idiot. Uh, give it some room so that when you move it, it's not sloshing everywhere. And when it goes to where it's going, top it off, top her off. So, um, we're going to be making centerpieces today and these can be centerpieces for a DIY wedding or they could be for your dining room table, or they could be for your Aunt Jo, who just had hip replacement surgery, or they could be for whoever that you Because you just... need to get with your girlfriends and do something different. Yeah. Fun while you talk about reality television mm -hmm. and binge watching. What's the going this on? This is that thing? strong pop of pink I was talking about. Mm -hmm. This is a perennial Monarda. Beautiful, I love oh, it. I'm obsessed with it. that. I know. I'm obsessed with so, the perennial Monarda. We're just pulling off all the bands, and I like to, when I'm designing, kind of have the different piles of the different groups of flowers. Kind of makes it easy to see all the different pieces of the recipe that you are putting together. Just think about this like cooking, right? Yeah. We just add ingredients, and at the end, it's pure this magic. Is what they, wait, there's a re, there's something, what do they call it when you do your prep? Your mise en place. This is your mise en place. Okay, I don't know that. That term. means all your prep. You do all your prep before so that okay. when it's time don't to cook, everything's done. Because I definitely They're want They're all some. mine. But anyway. Okay, so I am going to start with um, either greenery or something that I would use in mass to give some structure and some bushiness. Look at this Minarda. 
Like how cool is that? And look at that I'm stem. Use this that giant cool? piece of oak leaf hydrangea. Yeah, that's great. So this will give us a little bit of structure. You're gonna make sure that you take all leaves off that would fall below your water line. That's so that your water stays clean and that the ends of the flowers, think of those like straws, don't get clogged with gunk. Now, you'll notice she has snips because she's a professional. The idiot has scissors. There's nothing idiotic about this. You can totally use scissors. For this branch, since it's a branch, we call it a woody, uh, it was a little hard to cut. So I broke it and then I finished it off with the scissors. So anything below the water gets removed. Got yes, okay. I also recommend that when you're putting a cut on your stem that you definitely make sure it has an angle. 45 degrees is what everybody says is textbook. You use your best judgment. The reason we wanna put an angle is think about the bottom of the vase. If your stem is cut flush, it could end up having a suction cup to the bottom of your vase and not have water going up in the stem. If we put an angle, there's no way for it to set flat on that vase, which means it can take water up. So that's the reasoning behind why you're always told to put a fresh angled cut on the bottom of your stem. Yeah, these are so pretty, I can't even I know, I it. love this too. So one of the interesting things about our flowers and fresh flowers from a farm, a local farm uh, in general, are that you're gonna get a much different variety than what you would find in the grocery store. And the reason for that is because grocery store flowers are your, usually the way your carnations, your Ostromeria, which we love, Ostromeria, and mums, we also love. Um, and carnations, we also love. Roses, all of these things are super sturdy, right? They're hardy, they can take it. And if they need to be in the supply chain, which means from the farms overseas, to a distributor or a wholesaler into the grocery stores. They need to make it in the grocery They have a long life that they have to live before they even make it to you. Because our flowers are fresh cut and immediately put into a box and sent to you, we have the unique ability to send you stuff that doesn't need to have that extra two or three week base life because of the fact it's gonna be in a box we're gonna give you the full vase life of the flower. You get all of it. So That's right. instead so, of wasting some of it in a box, you get all of the vase life. Yeah, so if you ever go to the grocery store or you start looking at um, the flower selection that you have locally and it feels like it's the same things, it's because mm -hmm. those are the things that last the longest in the right. supply chain. When we eliminate that, we're able to give you opportunities to explore and interact with flowers that you may not mm -hmm. see every day. Um, it's not that our flowers last longer, it's just that we have eliminated part of the supply chain where a lot of you know, holding happens. Mm -hmm. um, and the ability to give you that fragile, delicate um, beauty that comes straight off the farm. I am digging this yarrow. So cottage yarrow we grow on the farm is gorgeous and it comes in a variety of colors. This makes such a great and impactful filler when you're trying to really create some volume and mass in your designs. A little kind of goes a long way in order to give you a punch. This is going so great. Um, yeah, yours is going awesome. So one of the interesting things, if you've watched some of our other designing with an idiot, you'll probably notice that we a lot of times will design in flower frogs. And today we're not designing in anything. This is there's nothing in this vase but water. That's right. I got this vase at the Dollar General for four dollars. Okay. She's really there's proud of that. nothing fancy happening that you can't do at home. Um, you know, and again, like this could be for your wedding. This could be for um, you know a dinner party you're having. And and as you can tell, there's tons of flowers here. So it's plenty to spread around. If you have a big event coming up at your home or for a fundraiser or for your school and you need you know, a bunch of flowers to put to stuff together, this is a great way to do it. Again, it is 100 stems in this collection. So you're getting a ton, ton, ton. This is my favorite flower. It's a Lysianthus favorite. Let me also just drop in for you guys. We are creating two arrangements with this box that could fill so many more. Right. So we are doing complete designs. When I design for an event where maybe I have 10 different centerpieces I need to do, I always take all 10 of my vases and fill them with water 
and then start with my first ingredient and place in each vase. I will swath out to give them um, kind of a uniform start. And when I get to my last handful of um, items to go in, I'm down to maybe the last three or four ingredients and all of my centerpieces have all the other components, I'll then take those last few stems and complete each individual design. That way, all of my centerpieces feel cohesive, but at the same time can be individual and unique. When you work like this for events or trying to do multiple pieces, you'll find that it flows much faster and that you don't end up with two vases and you've used all of about. three key ingredients. Yeah. That's my tip. Good tip, Jess. You like that? Man alive. I really want to add oh, in some alive. Lizzie's or some Dahlia's, but look at that. That's really pretty. Mine and mine's bigger. I can't help it. Mine's just mine's big. I got the big vase. Okay. And again, like this is gonna be massive. So if I were making this for someone, I would I mean, uh, they would be very happy. Let's just put it that way. So another cool thing is sometimes there are really nice side shoots that don't even have an open bloom yet, but these are really cool to get some of that essential texture outside of buying a full essential box. So sometimes I'll use side shoots or um, the, the buds of different flowers um, to help give a little bit more depth to my arrangement. We don't have to focus on just the individual blooms on the stem. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to work in some of these dahlias because they're okay, just... Okay, well, you better hurry up because I'm using all of them. And I don't oh, you better stop. Them. We I'm definitely don't them. have enough vases for all these flowers. No, but I'm going to shove as many as I possibly can into this. Yeah, but I, I like stopping right now because look at how Well, you just stop, is. girl. I don't care. It's your design. You do whatever you want. See, breaking it, it's fine. Shove that guy down right You in guys the also remember you're in your home. So while we give you all the tools to do this on a professional way and talk through the thought process. Oh, kind of like, you do you, boo. You're yeah, in, you are in you your want. environment, you do it your way, do and maybe you'll find something you that works better. So clue us in and tell us. Because yeah. we are trying to live a better life through flowers together here. And mm -hmm. if you find something neat and cool, we want to know too. Yeah, like there's always, that's the beautiful thing about flowers is there's always like the discovery happening. like. There's always something new and different oh, that I you can this do. Right Look at this. That's beautiful. Look at that, guys. How pretty is that? I need like... There isn't a rose in sight, but that is beautiful. I really am. I didn't even get... The, all right, I gotta add the snaps because I really wanted to snap. Oh, you have snaps over there? Just a few. I took okay, them. Well. You have snaps in yours. What are you talking about? I know. <laughs> And you can do kind of whatever you want when it comes to like designing, right? Like this is your whole little monster of create. I mean, I'm calling it a monster because that's what the mind is turning into. But um, it's your you. creation, which means like basically, it's what you deem beautiful. It's what you think is awesome. There's no, I mean, like floral design. Yes, it's an art for events, you know, and stuff. If you're not super creative like myself, I would hire a professional for some things, but. Um, you know, I kind of think that there's something to be said about just kind of throwing some stuff in you a know, vase because people are always like, oh my God, that's beautiful. Who did that? And you're like, I did. And they're like, what? And you're like, I know. I also kind of feel like if you are looking for some critique on your design skill, um, order a designer's choice and get with your bestie or your sister because there are no holds bar. Don't, yeah, make. and also let them tell you, don't ask Facebook because then people, I'm telling you, sometimes they're nice, but I just- Steph's getting out of all the groups. I just think that people I are can't, a too rough more, on each other. It's too much, because I love this. It's the stabby Is there more yarrow in here? Yeah, do you, you need me to help yes. you find your way? Here's some yarrow. Thank you. And here's some yarrow. Thank you. This is going. Great. See, sometimes you have to work together to get through it. Yeah, and it's fine. Like, and we're like throwing this together kind of quick, honestly. But you could like. That's really pretty. Do you know what I like this. about hers? Do you see how everything springs forth? So we have lots of opportunities to see dimension in this and to really showcase how those flowers grow. Whether they're a bloom at the top of a stem, whether they have blooms all the way down. Don't 
don't always do like me. Like, look at how you can open up your design. There's no mechanics to hide here. That's her big So nice. it's okay if we see down into the water a little bit, if that mm -hmm. helps to showcase one of your signature stems. I'm using a drumstick allium. This is an onion. It is, but, but it doesn't so cute. smell like because when this comes out of the farm or off the fields, uh, off the farm, we have a little farm hack that we use. We harvest this into a bucket that has a cap full of straight bleach and it sets for 24 hours. After that, we transfer it to a fresh bucket of water with nothing else. That little bit of bleach for 24 hours pulls all of the oniony scent out of the allium and we can enjoy them without feeling like we have a mouthful of garlic. So here's what I'm also gonna say. One of the things that is interesting, like you, we talked about, we're not using mechanics in this, we're just rolling. Mm -hmm. At, once you start getting stuff in here, it creates its own like thatching, right? So you've got kind of your own little, this guy's kind of crazy, but I kind of I like, like him. him. Yeah. In there. Uh, you've got your own, your own system, your own structure in there. We're just using all the flowers. This is a massive vase, yes. by the way, like massive. Um, you could, if you were doing bud vases, oh my gosh, you would be able to do a million bud vases with this. Um, think about it. If you're thinking like, you know, one or two stems per bud vase, you could do 50 to 75 bud vases just with one box of flowers. Well, even if you're not doing bud vases. So we took a collection box and designed our pieces without any extra foliage. If you are designing center pieces and you're buying flowers from us, but you're supplementing foliage, start with your foliage and you will find that mm -hmm. you're able to stretch your flowers much wow. farther. And all of these blooms, while they're gorgeous in combination, sing so well independently or limited to just a few um, groupings when you have foliage. Yeah, to use all of so these. Cause they're this is what happens rare. to us. We just have to use just, every dang flower. <laughs> But these it's are beautiful. Crazy. So it depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you need to stretch a box to do a few vases, definitely think about how you might be able to supplement with greenery to make full arrangements or break them down into bud uh, arrangements with single or duo blooms. Um, but just different ways of how you can kind of couple these up. For me, a lot of times after I've gotten the flowers happy from their little trip, I like to assess all the different products I have and kind of figure out the best way to use those together and give myself a, a, a recipe and a stem count so that I know that I can fill all the bases and exactly what I have to work with to fill that specific uh, arrangement that I'm working on. We're gonna have to stop doing this series because I think I'm getting too good. You are, you're really starting to up your game and it's making me a little nervous. I think I'm getting too good. But look at how gorgeous yours is. Like, yeah, so really? let's pull it to, like, this oh. thing is just monstrous. Yours is very, very pretty. But this thing is just a monster. And I think it's nice. It and is I think, nice. It's I think a this, beautiful I'm monster. I'm going to have to cut him a little bit, I think. Oh, I too, like him. I know. Well, he's not coming out, so you're going back in. Okay. Ta -da. He's going to hang out. <laughs> you guys. We hope this gives you some ideas to help stimulate creativity and how you can also join us in living a better life through flowers. Bye. Bye.